Upstate is using a virtual fundraiser to help fight hunger. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live in Welford at Harp and Shamrock Croft Farm. Are you sure you're at a farm? <laughs> I promise we're at a farm. <laughs> I can prove it, really. We just actually visited with the baby goats. This is such a neat place. Harp and Shamrock Croft. We are in the Greer area, a local farm. They do so much. You may see them at the Spartanburg or Greer Farmers Markets. You gotta hit them up on a Saturday. And they are working with Ruth's Gleanings and a food share program with Tanya. We've got Paul here with the farm, Tanya with that program. Tanya, we've been with you before. We have talked about what you do for those families that are hungry and in need of some food in Spartanburg County. Tell me about the partnership with this farm and other farms that really make it all worthwhile. Okay, sure. So um, our food share program we put uh, we pr purchased food in the box which is just nine to twelve varieties of fresh fruits and vegetables wow. and we try to uh, hit the target of about 50 percent being local and regional and so we have partnerships with local farmers and Paul is our newest partner and in our last food share box last week we were able to put his beautiful lettuce in the box oh. and um, we just are so excited when we get to do that. It's the most nutritional impact we can make um, in that food share box. And also we like to prosper our local uh, economy, our local farmers, and um, and Paul and Jenny are just just a wonderful partnership to I, form. Partners, yeah, but these guys are now friends. They're now yeah. friends of ours, teaching us so much about that local food. We want to tell you how you can help. That's the important thing. So support them on Saturdays at the markets. You can go and get this local produce. But Ruth's Gleanings is having a virtual fundraiser. It's going to be Thursday at 7 p.m. A really good hands-on way to not just help feed the community, but also so I would think even learn a little bit more about this local food. Would you say? So? Ab absolutely. Very yes. good. Yes. What would you encourage viewers to know more about, or why should they give? Um, well, it helps to support feeding people who are in need, and in, in, in particular, um, people in nutritional poverty who um, need just a hand up, not necessarily a handout, but this box makes them able to um, put fresh, healthy food on their tables. Um, but it does not cover our cost by any means. Um, the box. Uh, price and so we are a nonprofit and we need um, the support of the community. Their demand is does quadrupled. Let's be honest, it's yeah. quadrupled. Yeah. It is huge. So Thursday at 7 is how you can help. Our website has more. Back to you. By my count, by the way, Christine, uh, the Gamecocks got five first downs. <laughs> There, yes, oh, there's the a sixth box. right there. We're there's a, there's six first down <laughs> during that live report. Well done. We love it. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Thank you. Next on, <laughs> next on Carolina Morning. Hey, it's a great day to take off for a short flight. We'll tell you about National Paper Airplane Day.